Hello YouTube. Today's video is about Coney. This is my most exciting stock. It has uh, really held my attention. Um, before we begin to talk about the stock, I wanted to front load the video and explain the thumbnail. The um, reference to Dividend Barbie. It, Dividend Barbie is not a real person. Um, if you go ahead and you Google that, you will not find somebody with that name. However, there is a young lady that does uh, focus on dividend stock videos. And in my Discord, they have bestowed this nickname upon her. And um, it's a compliment. And uh, she does a good job. And at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to talk uh, more um, about... Uh, that whole situation and uh, also on the thumbnail subject the uh, image that I have in there is one that I created with AI and these were custom prompts that I came up with myself so that this thumbnail is not it doesn't picture a real person uh, on the thumbnail so I hope that clears up the thumbnail and we'll talk about at the end why would I do something like that this is probably a one-off. But let's go back to Coney. As you can see on Friday, Coney was my big loser. And even days when the, every, all of the stocks are up, Coney can go down. Um, but Coney is also my largest uh, dividend, uh, I'm sorry, largest yielding stock. And uh, last month, the dividend yield was $1.07, and you could also see on my thumbnail, you could see the recent payouts, um, you know, from the stock. And we'll go ahead and we'll take a, a, a closer look. Um, the current price is $21.83. I got in on the stock at $19.82. So I'm up right now by $80.27 as far as the NAV goes, which is basically, you know, the, the uh, advertised price. So this is something that I'm still working with. Now, if you can see, here's the big thing. I only have 40 shares. I used to have 100 shares. But I have watched the stock go up and down so violently that when it was up, I decided to take some profit. So you can see that, you know, I've only got 40 shares. Now, here's my plan. Uh, I'm trying to work, at, work out how do you play Coney because it's too much fun not to have any of it. So I would like to have 100 shares, but my plan is, is that I will be patient and I will wait until this goes down. And it will. Someday it will go down below my $19.82 acquisition and I will buy more at that point. Until then, I'm going to be patient. Let's talk about it a little further. We'll take a look at a snapshot and you can see that the 52 week range for Coney, it was at a high of $30.18. So when I bought it for $19 and change, I was like, I bought it at the low. This is fantastic. But then I watched it continue to drop day after day until it got down to $17.63. So my point is, is you really never know where the bottom is. And that's why I decided to lighten my load and sell uh, a large, you know, more than half of my shares when the stock price went up. So I'm still trying to figure out how to play the stock myself. And in my discord, there are a lot of people trying all different kinds of stuff. <laughs> and nothing is working out. But here's why we all put up with this stock. It is because of the, you know, the, the dividend history and the monthly payout. So you can see, <coughs> excuse me, the first payout was $1.07. The second payout was $2.46 a share. I've never heard anything like that. It's like over 100%. So if you can imagine, you know, you got your CD and it's paying 5% and there's a big smile on your face. What if your investment paid over 100%? Oh, okay. So the first uh, January, it paid 269. 
it was at this point I said, I got to get in, you know, I'm scared, but I got to get in to see what this thing is all about. And of course, after I was in at a hundred shares, that dropped down to a dollar seven again. But still, this was the biggest return that I have ever experienced on a stock. So am I re recommending this stock for you? Absolutely not. You should not buy this stock. Dividend Barbie would not buy this stock. She would tell you to get something stable like um, SCHD or JEPI or, you know, some kind of um, a stock that pays a dividend of three to five percent, you know, is going to be a lot more stable. And I'm not going to argue with that at all. And but you can see that this uh, since inception, the you know the the performance of it, the return has been seventy seven point nine zero percent. So I don't see any harm in putting a little bit, a small portion of uh, my uh, allocation, my portfolio allocation into this stock. But it's not right for everybody. That is for sure. So the question is, is how in the world would it pay such a large dividend? And I'm going to show you exactly how they do it. Imagine this. You buy one share of this stock at $23. And then they take that money and they gamble with it. And they, they, they gamble with it in a legal way. And it's called options trading. So they take your money and they buy call options on Coinbase, which is how the stock gets its name. Coinbase, of course, you know, is a, a cryptocurrency service and they, uh, they help uh, people buy and hold Bitcoin. So as you know, Bitcoin is, is volatile. So Coinbase is also volatile. And there are opportunities for big gains when they buy these call options. There's also opportunity for big losses. So I am too scared to sell options on my own. So I am basically paying Yieldmax to go ahead and use their expertise to allow me to participate in some of the upside of this strategy. So that's basically how it works and how when it all works out in the right direction. And if you look at the stock market ever since the inception of this fund, which is 8-14-23, the stock market has been in an up trajectory and they have been winning more than they are losing. But all it would take is a downward trend in the market or a prolonged one. And then we're not going to see these kinds of dividends and we're going to see our share price continue to erode. Just on Friday, it was down 52 cents or 2.33%. After, after hours, it's starting to come back a little bit. But on Monday, we have no clue what it's going to do. So buyer beware. And before I let you go, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the whole dividend Barbie situation. I'm also going to give you information. So if you want to come over to the Discord that I'm on, uh, you'll be able to find that. I am not the Discord owner. I'm just a member. And it's a good group of people. And they like to talk about the stock market. But um, Dividend Barbie, uh, she does really well. First of all, she's a smart girl. She really knows a lot about ETFs, dividend paying stocks. Um, she's not a financial advisor or anything like that. She's just a YouTuber, um, but it, um, retire on dividends. He owns the, uh, well, he doesn't own it, but he runs the um, Discord server. So you can go ahead and you can Google retire on dividends and you could find uh, his videos. And then in the description, you'll see a link to the Discord to join his Discord. Retire on dividends puts a lot of work into his videos. And when he talks about an individual stock, he provides a spreadsheet with actual numbers. And, you know, he is uh, takes a real deep dive and he gets extremely technical. But after you watch his videos for a while, you really start to understand everything that he's saying. So he'll shoot a video about a yield max stock and it will get 5000 views. And he is thankful for that. And then 
Dividend Barbie will shoot a video about a yield max uh, stock, and she uses a photoshopped picture of herself in a low cut sweater um, on her thumbnail, and she gets forty six thousand to seventy five thousand views on a same video, and when you watch her videos, she's very well spoken. She absolutely knows the, the material. You know, she does her research and she does a great job. But what you are watching is a, you're just looking at her, looking at you in the camera, wearing her low cut sweater with the microphone. And, um, you know, when I compare that video to retire on dividends video, he has built spreadsheets. He has researched uh, data and mined numbers to put into those spreadsheets. He has, you know, he puts a lot of effort into. He's not just sitting in front of the camera, regurgitating information that he found off the internet. He puts his own spin on it, and she puts her own spin on it too. But basically, you know, she's just doing research from the internet. So I know that this video rambled on and. I really don't like using the thumbnail that I used and it's just a, hopefully it's just a one-off. I'm giving it a try uh, because, you know, as a YouTuber, we're trying to get people interested in our videos and I plan on taking a deep dive into each of these individual stocks that I own and I hope that you'll come along for the ride. So go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.